Okay, in my last video, I said stay tuned. I have no clue why. First of all, we're going to come over here into the extensions tab and turn all of them off. Because I do not need these things running. Disenable, no, 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 and no. Just check for updates. There's no updates. Alright. HTML5 test. Oh, wait, I should probably do Chrome. And just to show my current settings, or maybe it's in the hell. And it's up to Chrome. I'm just going to put 25. 25 point. Yeah, it's 25. Chrome. 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 Alright. HTML5 test. This is the one that I'm hoping Google does extremely well on because all their products are slowly using, moving to this. Wow. That's actually extremely good. It almost got a perfect score. Let's see the points that it missed real quick. Audio. Oh, it missed some elements. It got partial for these, though. That's pretty good, though. Did extremely well on the forms where the other ones failed. Failed on the micro data. Various it missed the scope style element. Not bad, not bad though. That's actually a pretty amazing score. I am very shocked. Well, I'm not shocked. I'm. I kind of knew. But uh, oh wait, wait, wait! It's 463. 463. And this one, it's gonna pass. Pass. I have yet to see a browser fail that test because if it did, they would be laughed at. Sixty-four percent. It scored the highest on the. Darn it. Scored highest on the CSS. Ten percent higher than uh, Internet Explorer. Ten. Not too pretty there. The speed test to test its megabytes per sec. It's still not that. I don't know why I keep calling it that. Alright, and this one will be kind of uh, strange. I wonder... Alright, and I'm doing the AC web serve to make consistent. And it got the highest ping of all the browsers, and that's pretty good. Considering Google Chrome is meant to be slower. Now, just because it scored higher in ping-wise doesn't mean that it's going to score higher when it comes to physical page loading. That can be dependent on the amount of extensions you have and a lot of other factors. But it scored highest for this. And the security test, I'm expecting Google Chrome should probably either miss... I haven't done this one. Well, I have. I, I already know, guys. It's pretty good. Spoiler alert. Should have said that before. It's running, and it only failed the static HTML API. So they got a 16 out of 17. Now you look at all those scores. Google Chrome beat every one of them in every single category. Except for the ACID 3 test where they all got equal time. Beat them in CSS, HTML5, it's ping, and it's the most secure. So... I'm not going to go with the speed wise because I've had Internet Explorer load pages much faster. But based off of its ping and everything, not excluding the ping, it beat them in everything. So uh, congratulations, Google. You have probably you've made the uh, well from this test. You have the best browser on the internet. What did I try to spell here? So uh, congratulations, Google. We're gonna, uh, you, you deserve a medal for this, but, uh, go make your own solid gold one. But, uh, congratulations, that's actually a really good score. So, yes, Google Chrome, according to this test, is the most, is the best browser on the internet. I'm not going to be saying that Google Chrome is the best for you. I personally like it because it gives me a more professional looking compared to that of Firefox, which just seems to be more for, like, children and has less professional extensions that I can use but uh, it scored extremely well and this is one of the, these are one of the reasons that I love using it as far as the security test goes it 
if you have antivirus, you don't really need to be concerned with that. But IE10, one thing that they did do well is that they always have their files scanned. They have the uh, smart screen filter and other things right after their scan, which gives them a huge advantage over things like Firefox, which doesn't do that. But uh, I'm actually pretty surprised, and I'm glad, glad that it did so well. In the next one, we will be... Uh, and that, yeah, thank you for watching. In the next one, I'm not going to tell you. But you all will probably expect it. Alright, it's Safari. But, uh... Well, I just screwed that entire next episode up. But, uh, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for other videos. And stay tuned for the next video of this little mini-series. Thank you for watching. And... Goodbye.